everything Chris everything Chris everything Chris everything 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 Chris everything Chris everything Chris everything everything Chris for me is like you know just work your hardest and just you know just be you and and the people are gonna have your back they're gonna have your back and if they don't they don't and you can't please everybody and not everybody's gonna like you at the end of the day but yeah, yeah. you gotta be true to yourself you know so what what was your perspective on the Le Leicester culture on and off the court so the, the off -court stuff um that's a great question um you know for yeah. for me it was a bit different because I wasn't a full-time pro like so the girls like certain girls like all they did like it was, that was your job like you're a pro player that's you and you like you go to school and you play professional basketball and that's all you got to worry about like for me like like I have you know Matt and I have a place together I work at Charnwood as well I'm also playing pro and like I had a lot of stuff on my plate that I was juggling, so I think that my experience was a was a lot different than other people's. And I see Whitney's on here. Hi, Whitney. And like Whitney's the same. Like Whitney had a full time What's job, up, and then she would come in and like practice in the evenings after work. And it's hard. Like you've been working all day, your brain's exhausted, and then you got to come in and give a hundred percent of practice when some of these girls had been, you know, they'd gone to class and then you know they may have had a nap in the day. Like it's kind of like how you how it is at college. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so it was just like a different experience for me and for her and like a couple of other people that weren't full time pro. So, yeah, but yeah. I mean, I just made the most Ooh. out of it. You know what I mean? So I just come in, work my hardest, and then I go home, go to bed, get up, go to work. That's work it. Out, Whitney said, "Hey, I love Whitney. She's yeah. great." Whitney's got one of the, the most legendary dads ever to play. Yeah, he's great. a legend. He's yeah. yeah. Shout out, shout out, Mr. Allen. Yeah, um, big shout out. So, yeah, I've seen him. I've seen him not too long ago as well. We had a nice conversation, Mr. Oh, Allen. Like so, okay. winning the trophy finals, <clears throat> first year coming into um, the the Leicester Riders. How was that yeah. um, whole experience? Talk us through that, winning that. Okay. Well, first then afterwards, we had to deal with the okay. corona. Thing, it afterwards. was so weird because... First off, we didn't know if it was even going to be happening. Like, we weren't sure yeah. if it was going to be going ahead or if it wasn't going to be. So we were just prepping just in case. So we were yeah. just like. What's yeah. her name said the same thing yesterday? Who played against, she said she played against you in college. Uh, Betsy said yes, the same Betsy. thing. Yes, Betsy. She played at St. Cloud. Yeah, we played against each other. Yeah, yeah we didn't even recognize. Yeah. Well, I recognized her. She didn't recognize me. But I was like, you played at St. Cloud, right? Like, in the middle of a game. And we had a quick chat. Like, yeah, I remember that. She told me that. <laughs> yeah, no, she's sick. I love her. She's great. She's a great player, too. But, um. Yeah. But no, so we didn't even know if it was going to be going ahead. So, but I mean, obviously we just like prepped like it was going to be happening. And we all like, and obviously it went ahead with, and then we all took a big coach down the night before and went and had shoot around before. And honestly, like I've experienced things like that before. It's the same as college. Like at the, when you have the conference championship tournament at the end, you go to a big arena, you go up the day before you go shoot around. Like it wasn't anything new for me. But it yeah. was it was sick. It was cool. And we were so lucky that we got to end the season with, like, a trophy final win. Like, it was insane. It was so, a tough game, though, wasn't it? And it was a sick game. And Betsy had, like, three back-to-back -back threes. It was so was angry. Nuts. I was like, this girl, somebody guard her. I was so mad. But So, what, you didn't guard her? No, nah, it was like, put me in coach. I want to guard her. <laughs> but, but, no, she's great. Um, but your um, but Sarah no, was like, going up for you guys as well, isn't it? Huh? Sarah was going nuts for you lot as well. She was oh, taking for real, like yeah. She, Sarah played sick. Like she had yeah. so I think she had like almost thirty points. Like she's a sick player too. She's great. She's a good person too. Um, but no, like it was. I think for me though, the biggest, like the most satisfying part, it wasn't. It was obviously winning the trophy, but it was beating Seven Oaks before that. No offense to Seven Oaks, but we wanted to beat you so bad. <laughs> So that okay. victory was more exciting to me than the actual trophy victory was itself. So, like, it was it was so sick winning that game. Like, I was, like, on the bench going crazy, like, in the game, just, like, hyping everybody up. Like, it was such a fun game to just, like, play in. 
and be yeah. a part of and like that i think that's the game where we came together the most because we all just yeah. wanted to win so bad that it was just like we really played as a team that game and i mean it just goes to show like when everybody rallies together and you all have one goal like you can do amazing things like we played sick and if we would play like that all year round like we would have been i mean no offense to anybody else but we would have been killing teams by like 30 40 but we were just stacked so no your like, team was yeah still, let's, was your like, team was yeah. tough the us yeah. seven oaks seem to be the toughest women's team yeah i think right. Sheffield looked like they're on the uprise though because they got that new yeah. girl and yeah, she, oh, yeah. She she bad as well. What's up with all these Sarahs that are just killing it? Hmm? Huh? What'd you say? What's up with all these Sarahs just killing it all of a sudden? You got the Sarah from Sheffield, Sarah from oh, your team. You got, a name. Yeah. got a name my daughter's <laughs> name. <laughs> no, no, man. I have to do that as well. Talk to, talk to the go. fiance. <laughs> so, how did you deal with that? Because I was going to come up to that game. What? I had one ticket to that to, to your finals game. That is so. But, yeah, go on. Yeah, because it was like I was coming up to network with everyone to try network. Yeah. And then, right. Because the prior prior to your game, we'd gone to Leicester Riders men's game against Manchester, mm -hmm. but we couldn't right. interact with anyone. So we don't know they they literally cut off all the interaction. So I was thinking that's gonna probably be the same yeah. thing up there. It so was, was it was that the same thing up there that like you had to just literally go straight to the locker room or? Yeah, like we didn't eat well. Still, I was still surprised by how many people were there. Like everybody still like all sat together on like. They weren't there for this thing, but um, but no, like it was a, it was weird. Not gonna lie, especially because there was supposed to be so many more people there, like way more people there, and yeah. so that sucked because when I played in the cup final with Nottingham, I mean that place was packed. And after we won, it was really cool that like there was a bunch of like girl young girls in the crowd, and they came down and like asked me for autographs, like can you sign my shirt, yeah. sign my program, oh, that's so. Cool. Yeah, so, and I think that obviously that would have happened as well at the trophy if they would have been allowed to, we would have been allowed to. So, I mean, there was definitely, like, aspects of it that was just, like, we didn't get to experience because of Corona, which was, which sucked. I mean, we still got the win, so at the end of the day, like, you know, that's what it's about. But also, it, it that was hard, like, that wasn't fun. Definitely, yeah, I hear that. Interact with the fans after, after the victory. So, um, there's a question, though, I always ask... Everything, 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 Chris. Everything, Chris. Everything, Chris. Everything, everything, Chris. Everything, everything, Chris.